thing about basketball is, is you play more than one game a week. Uh, we're into our third game in six days, and uh, I'm excited about playing another game. Disappointed that we're one and two. Understand why we're one and two. Um, got to make free throws. Got to make plays at the end of the game. Got to make good decisions at the end of the game. That's including me. You know, I have to take ownership for that too. And I will, and I have. And, um, you know, we had a great practice this morning. And we're getting better. And we're improving. Uh, I said it before, Luke Neville is, I think, having as good a year as you could have uh, at both ends of the floor. He's not a one-dimensional guy anymore. He's playing both ends of the floor. He's helping us win. He's helping us uh, be the number one team defensively in the league. Any questions? Hey, it hurts. It stings. Uh, I can't say that a rivalry game means more before the game than after the game say it doesn't sting more. That's, that's bull. You know, I'm not going to ever be like that. I try to tell the truth, to be honest. Yeah, it stings. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah, it burns. Uh, especially the way the game ended and the fact that we fought back. We've been down in games. I call it the fourth quarter. We've been down in fourth quarters and fight back, fight back. Need a play here to win. Need a good decision here to win. And um, haven't done it. And you know we're getting a lot of credit for being in games. That gets old. You know that gets old. Uh, is it growth from this team? It is. Um, you know last year at the end of the season, uh, end of the Mountain West Conference season, this team was ninth in three-point defensive field goal percentage and ninth in field goal percentage. We're one in field goal percentage and two in three-point. We're getting better. We're getting tougher. We're growing. We got to push through and win, and that's on my head too. And I got to help us do that. Confidence to me is from working hard and communicating with each other, playing the game the right way. That's where you get confidence. Um, you know, I ask my guys to be men. This is the top level, top level. You know, you got to be men. You got to fight through. You're going to have some adversity. I try to prepare, prepare my guys for life. Life is adversity. Life is pushing through tough times. Life is understanding. The reality of the situation. The reality of the situation is we've been in games that we should, that we had a chance to win and we didn't. We got to learn from that. We got to learn why we didn't. That's my job to evaluate myself, my staff, and my team. And all I can tell you is that's what we do every day. That's what we do every practice. That's what we do. And um, you know, my job is is to coach this team, to lead this team, uh, to make to make you know decisions that I think are right for this group of guys. And I'm gonna keep trying to do that. Their job is to play and to compete, to go to class, and to give me all the effort they can. They have done that. They have done that. And we're gonna keep doing that. And nobody's dobbers down, nobody's, oh man, this is, boy, this is, it's not like that. We don't have that mentality. And um, you know, we're gonna keep working. And that's the only way I know how to do it. I mean, we, you know, I've been a part of teams on 10-game losing streaks, six-game six losing streaks. Uh, a two-game losing streak in college is like a six or eight game in the pros because of the number of games. That's, that's how it is. There's three times the games in college, so a two-game winning streak is like a six-game in the pros. It's no fun. It's not easy, especially when you have chances to win games. And, um, you know, we're going to keep fighting through it. You know, we try to evaluate our open shots. I try to evaluate our open shots, shots we can make, our layups, our paint twos. Um, we had four wide open looks in that second half against BYU. Wide open looks. Uh, Kepke had one. Johnny had one. Uh, Sean Green had one. And uh, Luca Dercha had one. Wide open looks. And they don't go down. It looks like your offense looks pretty bad. Two of those four go down, our offense looks pretty good, we probably win the game. That's when it comes to making a play. That's what I talk about since day one. You've got to make a play. Uh, was it Burgess on the, on the out of bounds play? He made a big shot. He made a play. That's what you got to do. You've got to give him credit for that. Um, Mike, I would really be frustrated if we didn't have those open looks. You know what I'm saying? If we didn't, if I look back on the film and God, we never got any open shots. We didn't have any open looks. We didn't have any layups. We missed. We didn't. You know that wasn't the case. Now I thought I mentioned after the game. I thought that in the first half we got a little selfish and the ball didn't move. 
The ball didn't move from side to side. We have to get the ball to the second side, third side, fourth side, and it didn't do that. And I was frustrated with that. I thought the second half the ball moved, and we got moving a little bit. And we got to the basket, and we made some plays. Uh, we just didn't make enough. What I do is I chart every drill we do in practice, uh, every practice card, and we take what we do defensively off and add them up. We are two-thirds to one-third defense to offense right now. I felt I had to lay the foundation defensively. Toughness, <clears throat> physicality, communication. I had to do it. It's not easy to do. It's not easy to do. Uh, I would say right now we're 50-50 offense, defense, and practice. So we changed. Uh, every program I've been with that's been successful, Rudy T, Tom Izzo, uh, defense has been 75 to 65 to 80 percent of it the first three or four months, and then you get the offense going. If we don't have a defensive team, guys, we have nothing in my mind. We have nothing. And if we don't lay that foundation of defense and that we're going we're gonna to win games when we, our offense is good, but we're going to win games when our offense isn't great because we hold other people down, we're going to get better and better. And um, no excuses for losing, no excuses for where we're at. I don't believe in that. But uh, I don't think anybody in this room could say we're not a defensive team. And I'm proud of that, and we're going to get better at that too. But we are equaling that timeout of, of you know, offense and defense. You know, the San Diego State game, do I call a timeout or do I? We, we had a hard time getting the ball in against them. I didn't want to take us out of bounds. They set their defense. Maybe they go zone. Maybe they trap us. I didn't want to do that at San Diego State. I did that against BYU. Okay, knowing that they might go zone, but they usually don't trap, and you can get the ball in. So I call a timeout. Now, we did not execute that last play, but I, w I didn't want us to go right away. In hindsight, probably should have gone right away. Okay, didn't want, to, didn't want a frantic shot, didn't want a panic shot, didn't want to get into something that we weren't set at. What we worked on, we've done in practice. We didn't get it executed, and we went too late. That's my fault. Okay, that's my fault, and I'll take that. Uh, I have to make decisions on what I think is best for my team and my group of guys where we're at at the time. If I had to make that decision over again, it's easy to say now, yeah, I do something different. And that's, that's why we're all here. Because <laughs> that's what people get paid to do. And I understand that. And I'll take the responsibility for that. I just don't want it. I want to understood that my team is getting better and we are growing as a group. And has it translated to two wins we could have had? No. I'm disappointed in that. But we are getting better. They make 10.43s a game in the league. They lead the league in three-point shooting. Uh, our three-point shot challenge, our getting the shooters, our defensive transition, they get a lot of their threes in transition because they have multiple ball handlers. So sometimes your point guard calls the ball, and now uh, the ball might be a three. Well, now your three has got to guard the one. You, you know, they're, they're jumbled up, and that's what multiple ball handlers on the break does to you. So that's very difficult, and that's they get their threes in transition, and they get their threes from drive and pitch, and isolation with good spacing. And um, you know, I played Steve Offer's teams before in the Big Ten, uh, very well coached offensive teams. I think he, the system is a little bit like ours. He will isolate. He will go to a good matchup. He will use his players' strengths in his system. It isn't just a pattern, the same pattern every time. He kind of does it like we do it, which is more of a pro style, you know, go to a good matchup, go to a pick and roll, go to a situation where you think you have an advantage. Uh, he does a great job of that. And that's also the three-point thing, too. And um, they've shot, I think, 94 and made 41 or something like that. I mean, they're, they're, they're doing really well. I, I don't believe in mixing up the lineup a whole bunch. Uh, I did, it's funny, nobody asked me about it, but I did change at the half, I thought maybe you guys missed that. Put Johnny, Johnny, right? Put Johnny in for Carlin, because uh, I thought we needed to start the half. I didn't need a, a poor start of the half. And uh, I thought Johnny could give us a little spurt, and I thought he did. And uh, it wasn't that Carlin was playing poorly. I thought we needed a little jump. And uh, Carlin will start tomorrow night. We'll start the same way, and uh, we'll see how it goes.